Okay guys, want to pop up another quick video. So, a couple of weeks ago, this transport operator contacted me and he he said that he watched a lot of our videos and uh, follows our social media and what have you. And um, he was asking about our unannounced visits. You know, he wanted to know, he'd heard a lot about it. He'd heard a lot of um, back and forth with other operators about how it's vital, how or why our unannounced compliance visits work, okay? So I asked him, why do you want to know this? What's your problem? And he said, no, nothing I want you. I said, no, what's your problem? Because obviously you have suspicion of something. Tell me out straight and I, I'll, I'll find it. So he said to me, I, I think, I believe that my transport manager um, is route planning wrong. There's a, a couple of loads that I know we're putting out that can't be done legal. So I said, no problem. Um, give me the registrations, give me the loads going out and, and we'll see what the crack is. So out of three of the new vehicles this morning, found um, two in interrupter devices, um, two of the, new, well, the newer type ones, K-Line in, um, USB out. But on one of the other ones, it was the old type mo control, garage door fob, you know. And that's only from a drip feed test, guys. Okay, it's nothing really, what, seven minutes, ten minutes it took me um, to detect it. Very, very simple to do this. So, contact the boy back. I actually done a video call with him um, to show him where they were fitted, the manipulation devices and what have you. So, it goes to show, guys, that although the social media we put out, you know, we always try and educate, we always try and protect as well. Because this guy here, you know, if that... When that goes to court at some stage, you know, because if they don't stop it now, they will be detected, they will be caught out. But if anything happens for that guy and he goes in front of a uh, traffic commissioner or the transport regulation unit or he's, he's interviewed um, by DV enforcement or DVSA enforcement or roads police and whatever it is, okay, for manipulation of fraud, one of the things is that he had the competence to know that his dickhead of a transport manager was doing this, you know. So I was speaking to the transport manager this morning and God love him, I don't think he'd know if you were up him, but... He, he's saying he bought the lorries in with that. Do you, do you know what I mean? And you look at the data from before the lorries came in and you look at the data when the lorries were being used and you can you know see that they're fitted. So very simple what I do then is I went and spoke to the driver, said to the driver, here boss, what's the crack? Um, who's getting you to switch them over? He says, who do you think? Put under pressure, do the loads. And that's what it is, guys. So especially for drivers out there, you know, stop being a pussy and bending over for operators and transport managers because they will shit on you very, very quickly. And a lot of you know that. But this morning was another example of, you know, where the driver was mad to say, of course I'm doing this. Of course I'm manipulating it because I have to manipulate it to get the loads done, okay? And how do, what helps me do that? That the operator fits devices for me. So... That's all, guys. Any help or assistance you need, contact us at tctscript.com. That is all.